Christians are literally leaving church, walking out the church doors, and making videos where they are proud that they are transforming spiritual warfare into physical warfare. Watch this video, then we'll talk about it. Just finished church, and the last uh, hymn that we sang is Star Spangled Banner. You're going to wake the sleeping giant, and when it does, um, it's not going to end well for you. First of all, in all my years of being a Christian, I never once remember singing the Star Spangled Banner. That's a huge red flag. It is also a lesson for those of you who keep saying that Christian nationalists aren't Christians. They're learning this stuff right in church. This is a prime example about why Christian nationalism is so dangerous. Because right there on the screen, you see how it merges religious fervor with militant patriotism. Here's what's absolutely insane about this. Historically, Christianity has been weaponized to oppress marginalized communities. From the Crusades to the justification of slavery here in America, this type of Christian rhetoric has been misused to justify horrific acts of violence and oppression. Equating patriotic duty with religious obligation undermines the separation of church and state. Even though that's a foundational principle of American democracy, Christian nationalists boast of their desire to have church over state. You are a churched Christian and you are absolutely horrified by this kind of rhetoric, then I highly suggest that you get involved with Christians Against Christian Nationalism. If your church leaders and fellow congregants do not want to get involved with ending Christian nationalism, it's because they support it. Stay awake. Use your voice and vote.